I, I challenge anybody to point out what is morally wrong or even economically wrong with a genuine monopoly that is obtained apart from any sort of government regulation. Do you want to go through some of the other objections that we have here, Cody? Yeah, let me, let me find some of these. So here's one. Well-functioning markets are a prerequisite for the exercise of everyone's rights. The state must protect the functioning of the marketplace against bad actors who would disrupt it rather than use it. And the government needs to stop people who undermine free exchange of goods and services in whatever industry. It needs to stop people from creating coercive monopolies. Uh, com companies that are big are in the position to use their market position to undermine capitalism, and that violates people's rights. I, I was with that objection, uh, objection. It, it wasn't an objection until the last sentence. Uh, what, what do you mean by coercive, right? Coercive means force. If you, don't, if you don't have force in mind, if you don't have the initiation of force in mind, then you shouldn't use the word coercive because it's not coercive. If you think it's coercive to uh, be really good in such a way that, and have really low prices in such a way that you uh, defeat your competitors in the market and you're able to gain a majority share of the market or even a, a full monopoly. I, I don't know that that ever really happens, uh, but uh, at least apart from government regulation. Um, but even if, you, even if you did, who have you committed coercion against? Who have you initiated force against? The answer is no one. And, and what you're doing is you're making everybody's lives better off. The, if, if you have a monopoly in a genuinely free market, apart from any government regulations, if you have a monopoly, what that means is you are providing a very valuable service to lots of people for very cheap, which means you're making their lives much better off. And if you ever stop doing that, then you're going to get a competitor and you're probably going to lose your monopoly. What, what's, what's wrong with that? that I, I challenge anybody to point out what is morally wrong or even economically wrong with a genuine monopoly that is obtained apart from any sort of government regulation. When people speak of coercive monopolies, by definition, there's only one kind of coercive monopoly, and that is the monopoly that's protected by law. If through government regulations, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and you'll notice that a, a lot of the, the big business, big companies tend to be pro-regulation, but a lot, a lot of times that's because they know that they can afford the regulations. They, they can afford to jump through all of the bureaucratic loophole or, uh, hoops and red tape, and they know that their competitors won't be able to afford it. And so a lot of times regulations are a way to keep competitors out. Regulations are the things that create actual coercive monopolies. Uh, and they do it in the name of consumer protection or, or whatever the case may be. So what about companies that have a large market share and are capable of doing what I'd call bullying behavior? It's not that they're breaking laws, but they're doing things that make life hard on other people. So for example, Amazon makes it hard on their vendors because Amazon actually competes with some of their vendors. And so if, if the vendors are, you know, the, the vendors are not in a position to bargain against this giant sometimes because this is the tool, this is the location where we do our business. If Amazon doesn't like us, we're just out. We'll have to, you know, find another job. So I'm, I'm wondering, doesn't that violate people's freedom to do business or doesn't it violate people's uh, freedom to have access to a wide variety of products when, when companies act like bullies. I'm assuming by freedom there, the idea is you've got a right to it. And, and my challenge to you is, why are you a socialist? Yep. <laughs> and what I mean by that is you're assuming that you have a right to some product or service from other people. You, you have a right for other people to provide certain opportunities for you. And maybe you're not saying, I have a right for you to give this money to me. So it's, it's a little less concrete. But what you're saying is, I do have a right for you to give me an option or, or a series of options between A and B or between A and C that I can then be free to choose from. 
you're saying that freedom consists of other people stepping in between you and reality in order to create an artificial uh, choice for you. It, that, that, that's not the way to, that's not freedom. And you don't have a right to that. 